There's a niggle piggle on the camera. Right, this is our season review of the festive period. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. We're going to talk about the Christmas games, essentially. That's what's going to happen in this video. Uh, Adam, Villa, no. Newcastle and Spurs. Oh. Five points, unbeaten. Thoughts. Go. Buzzing. I'm, well, Good. I'm, oh, wait, 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 wait. Not As buzzing. the season goes, mm -hmm. I'm happy with how the season goes. We're talking about the season. Festive. Good yeah. end to the year after yeah. what happened last year. All of that. Feeling happy. Mm -hmm. Feeling festive. Yeah. You're like I'm ready, for the, I'm ready for the new year. I'm need a, feeling like need a big hat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we didn't lose any games. We didn't win any games. Let's talk about positives first. Lots of players are doing exceptionally well. Juan Mata in particular. Wayne Rooney has been amazing over the last few games, has he not? Yeah, yeah. Been brilliant. Uh, been moving into that deeper role in midfield. Uh, and players have done really well. Weird injuries. When you consider Di Maria, Falcao's still just Thank coming you. back into the team. Di Maria, <laughs> Falcao's just coming back into the team. Like these are great things. The fact yeah. that we're winning these games or not losing them without Di Maria and that Falcao is, you know, he's got a goal. Yeah, and and it looks like him has is getting his today. He's, he missed a few chances against Spurs where he should have taken them. He's getting there, isn't he's, he's getting there, and you're seeing things from his movement, from mm -hmm. everything, where he's become. I think we just need to make him the main man. When we yeah. make him the main man, he'll get in positions where he can score goals. I think when there's the two of them up front, him and Robbie Van Persie, the kind of although we saw parts of their movement getting better against Newcastle. I love the way Falcao ran onto one post, Robbie Van Persie, yeah. really straight through the middle, like Lampard or something. Like I like those kind of movements. Really, he's next Lampard. That's the what? What? What's wrong with you? He's a central midfielder and he's gonna get goals. He needs to learn how to time his runs onto the edge of the box. But once he learns that, yeah, he will be our Lampard, but better because he can defend as well. There's a terrible taste in my mouth. It's all the words you've just said at me. I don't want to sweep. Right, let's look at negatives then. You've just compared Wayne Rooney to Frank Lampard. That looks like a massive negative to I didn't me. Compare. Defend it. I mean, in the sense that we have a midfielder who I'm will get a, us 20 goals a season. I'm not an advocate of trolling. It's not very nice. It's essentially cyberbullying. But it's understandable at certain times, I think. Because people say stupid things. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Gaz. Yeah, he gets a lot of a stick. A lot of me. stick. Were you on about me then? Yes, I was, yeah. Right, negatives. We didn't beat Villa. We didn't beat Spurs. Two points dropped. Four points in total. Yes, I've done the maths for you. Don't even worry about it. Leave your calculators alone. That is a problem. That's the kind of thing that by the end of the season can cost you places. I don't know. Be careful. It's not a problem. Getting a point at Spurs is not a problem. Spurs aren't poor. We haven't just, you know... No, they spend loads of money. The crappiest team in the league. You know, it's... After the way the game went, it's frustrating. We should have got all, yeah, all three points. Yeah. Same with Villa when they went down to 10 men. Falcao got his goal. We should have got all three points. Didn't happen. But it's not the worst that happened. The biggest thing for me, I'm positive. Yeah. I'm trying to get negative out of me, but I'm positive right now. Okay. Because although I don't think we will win the league, the difference is we can win the league. And we've yeah. got the mentality that we a lot want of, to win the league. A lot of uh, pundits, the media in particular, not these guys, uh, building this bandwagon of Manchester United mounting a title challenge and then we'll draw against Spurs. Stan, Manchester United, the wheels have come Oi, off. Oi, You're not Stanley. Gonna... Sorry, sorry, Sam. Stanley. He's all him two, three weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Man United can win the league now. Ooh, they're getting themselves to the position they can challenge. Then we draw against Villa and he starts talking about the Man United fans getting excited. I'll talk about Shut that. up, Stan. Thing. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Talk to my best. Yeah. Oh, you're doing this, you're going to win the league, you're not going to win the league, you're rubbish. People basically saying the wheels are falling off when you don't win the game, we're going to win the league, we don't. Lou Van Howe says, obviously the ambition is to win the league, and of course it is. If you ask most successful clubs, they're always going to want to win the league. We're going to try and win every single game. That means, in theory, we're going to try and win the league, of course we are. But if we don't, we're not going to say the season was a failure. No. The expectation is, get top four. Above is a bonus. If we can win the league, that'll be incredible. But there's no need for that to be a narrative, is there? No, it's not. And we've, we've got people like Steve Descas, McManaman. Yeah. Like, the Man United win 3 1 against Newcastle. He's trying to find negatives. They're scared, yeah. Sam. They're scared. scared. We're coming back. Louis bringing us back. Yeah. Might not win the league this year, but King Louis, the Olympic. Yeah. Price. Right. Anything else you want to talk about? There's some funny games, uh, certainly today. <laughs> Chelsea dropped points. <laughs> As did City. <laughs> Two the longest penalty. Yeah, at home, and they drew. <laughs> what a team. Um, oh. So, that's funny, isn't it? How Anything are you going to drop a two-goal lead against Burnley? Think, people say Man United can't win the league. The results are that, I think we barely could. Yeah, and Chelsea drew against Southampton, a place An where we won. Result. When yep. we played crap, Paddy McNair was all over the place. Mm. You know, Johnny Evans couldn't, didn't know where he was. No. We still won. 
it shows dream. you that we can we can challenge these two teams here. We, so can we can get close to them. I don't think we'll win the league, so don't come back to me and Sam saying you like said you're gonna win the league. Yeah, we didn't say that. Because we didn't. We said it'd be nice though. But we will be close. We'd enjoy it and we'd certainly celebrate, but we don't think that'll happen. Arsenal beat their challenges for fourth spot. Yeah, Arsenal stand. started the festive period five points behind us. It's now three points. Ooh, we ride scared. about. They've got no Giroud, they've got no class, and they've got no style. Got no, they've got, a they've got no they've, fan. They've got the Gunnosaurus. Got no grand. And no one's concerned about that. Uh, I suppose that's it. That's our review of the festive period. Let us know what you thought. Get your comments in below. Subscribe to Sam. Full Time Devils. Go on. Got a present for you. For what Christmas. is it? Oh, jelly beans. Jelly beans. You got to guess the flavour. All right. Take one. Go on. We'll just pour. Just give me a. Tell me what colour you got first. All right. It's it sort of looks like vomit. It's sort of orange and it's got red dots in it. Okay. Do you know what that is? It just tastes like. Oh, it tastes of appley. Oh, I like it. It was either vomit or peach, but you got peach. Oh, it's peach, yeah. Great. If I had vomit, I would have Can been I living. find your vomit, man? No. Try on the white one. 